Hi guys, let's talk about creating a breed profile for the Kerry Blue Terrier's head. This is a breed that I have owned for nearly 30 years. My dog Hannah was a multiple group winning champion, attaining national ranking. I absolutely loved learning to groom this breed. Remember, never to remove the fall, which is the long hair between the eyes. Holding the fall out of the way, use a blending shear and shorten the hair from the brow bone to the front of the ear. The idea is to bring this area down to about the length of a 7F blade. I prefer to use blending shears so that I can have more control over the transition, creating a smooth, natural flow into the longer hair at the back of the head. Holding the head down, using curved shears, bring the hair from the neck hair down into the head in a smooth transition into the short hair on the top skull. Next, go from the shorter hair back into the longer hair in the opposite direction. The idea here is to create the illusion of a long rectangular shaped head. You can see without the additional height from the buildup of hair, the head would not look as long. Shave the cheeks from just behind the corner of the eye to the ear and down to the corner of the mouth, then down the sides of the neck. The clipped line under the neck forms a V which widens a bit above the sternum to the base of the ears. Clip the under jaw against the grain all the way up to the little fold in the lower lip. The ears are shaved with a 15 blade, then the edges of the ears are gone back over with a 40 blade. Next, neaten the edge of the ears by scissoring them tight. Set the scissors on top of the ear. With the scissors held straight up and down, scissor a line matching the width of the head into the neck. Then use blending shears between the clipped area of the cheek into the hair on the head for a very smooth, short transition. Never scissor off the sides of the face to create a rectangular shaped head. The bushy hair here must be encouraged to lie flat by removing the bulk with 46 tooth thinning shears. While holding the fall off to the side, comb the sides of the head up and out, identifying the hair that is detracting from the rectangular shaped head. Take thinning shears up under the hair one swipe at a time. Comb out the thinned hair and see how it looks. Repeat this process until the hair lies flat and looks natural. always identifying the areas which are sticking out. Then lightly blend the edges. Mm -hmm. 
It's wise to check the area where the fall blends into the short hair on the head. It should be flat all the way through. If it is not flat, carefully blend it with thinning shears, skimming off as you go. When creating a nice lean head, clipping about a finger width between the ear and the hair on the head is helpful. It's best to do this after the head is trimmed to see exactly where the line should go. By putting your finger under the ear and rounding the ear over your finger, you can easily reach the area needing to be clipped. Then, holding the ear forward, clean out the area behind the ears. This will create more arch to the neck and give a lean, elegant look. Tidying all of the clipped areas will give a very finished appearance. Check the ear set with the ears perked up. The ears should accentuate the long, lean head with true terrier type. Check the sides of the neck to make sure the arch of the neck is enhanced. This can be done with a 10 blade. Finally, Blend the clipped lines into the longer hair and flatten the chest. I do this with a 7F blade. For my dogs, I always braided the fall to keep it out of the eyes. I also did this for my clients' dogs before sending them home. <music>